Hello, photography. I uh, wanted to show you how to do a little bit of editing to your nature photos. Specifically, I want to show you how to make your pictures black and white and how to tone them in different ways, possibly doing some sepia toning. So first thing we need to do is we need to open up an image. And by the way, I'm using Photopea to do this. Um, the type of... Um, software that this is is very similar to like Photoshop and other platforms so you know learning Photopea will also help you learn other photo editing software and if you don't know how to use Photopea I did make some videos earlier that take you on a tour through doing simple edits this is more specific to um, toning your pictures and making your pictures black and white Okay, so let's open up a photo. This nature photo here. Okay, so we have our picture. Now, something that I like to do, just so it's easy to go back and re-edit things, and you can also do some cool special effects later, is I like to duplicate my layer. And the way I do that is I just drag it down here to that little folded piece of paper. And so now I have a picture on top of a picture. Now, on the top layer, and you got to be aware of which layer you're on. This is the copy that I have on top. I'm going to go into image adjustments and then black and white. All right. So we're going to make it black and white first. Now you could just reduce the saturation in the photo, but it tends to look a little flatter that way. Um, by doing it this way, I have more control over the way that uh, the software interprets color when you're making it black and white. So for instance, I can change things in my picture. So I might decide, I want to make my red areas a little bit darker. Notice that brought out the stems a bit more. And then I think I want to make my leaves pop from the background more. So I'm going to experiment with it now. So that would do the opposite. Um, although that mm, does look kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go maybe a little bit brighter. Maybe about there. Let's see where our greens are at. All right, so the greens are mostly the leaves. I'm going to leave those light. Looks like the cyan tones are mostly in the background. And you can see that it gets a little bit washed out when I have these lighter. But if I go a little darker, the leaves really start to pop out more. And, you know, this is going to work differently depending on the type of photograph that you're editing. Obviously, these colors that I have in this picture are reacting with these different um, uh, values or tones that I'm sliding back and forth. Yeah, magenta doesn't do a whole lot. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and say okay. Now, uh, moving forward from that, you could also apply a photo filter. So, like, for instance... I might go in here and I have these photo filters and that's more of like a sepia tone, but you can change the color of the filter. Like, I don't know, maybe you want to do like a blue tone or I guess that's kind of a lavender. You can say, okay, and now you have a lavender photo or maybe you want it to be green. We'll say, okay, and now we have a green photo and you can adjust how intense that is right here. I actually like the way the sepia looks, so I'm going to go back to more of like a sepia tone. So I need to get into like an orange. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe like that. Now we have more of like a sepia tone. Okay. So you could be done right here. And what you can do is you can click um, export as JPEG. I think I'm just going to leave all, I might go ahead and turn the quality up a little bit higher. And we'll hit save, save file, and now it's downloaded. Here it is. It's ready to turn in. But you could also experiment a little bit more. Now, if you remember, I had separated um, my picture as a layer. And so my original picture, it, ooh, ooh, we'll say okay. 
my original picture is still underneath. So you can kind of, I can go back and forth here just like this. Um, now what I could do, uh, now that I have these layers separated and I have this sepia tone layer on top of the background, I can go in with an eraser and I can have a little bit of fun erasing parts of my picture to reveal some of the colors underneath. So like for instance, maybe I want to erase a little bit right here. And you can do a much better job than I'm doing. Or maybe I want to bring out some of those colors again. Maybe I need to adjust my brush a little bit. We'll erase over here. Getting a little bit of the background in. This might look better actually with like flowers, honestly. The leaves aren't quite as exciting. But it just gives you an idea of what you can possibly do with your pictures. And you can be more strategic. You know, obviously you can make the brush a little bit smaller and get into all those little details. Ooh, that actually looked pretty nice right there. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you. Um, just a little bit about editing your pictures and what you can do with your uh, nature photos now that you've shot a lot of them. Um, I would like you to try this out with a few of your photos and upload them to me. Have a most wonderful day.